Hi everybody, Martin at Flicking Feathers again today and I'm tying another wet fly. This is the Orange Rory. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody who wants to support the channel, get access to the members only content as well as being entered into the giveaways. So I'm going to hook my vise. It's a size 10 uh, Camasan B175. Right, um, tie these 8s, 10s, 12s if you're going to vary the size um, and obviously you can use whatever hook you prefer if you prefer a full and mill or whatever so for the tail I'm going to take some fibres from a hot orange hen hackle Stand the fibres at 90 degrees from the stem to line up the tips and when they're lined up just rip them away and I'm going to tie them about a shank length off the back if you want to tie them a bit longer that's fine um, it's up to yourself really and then I'll get some black fibres from a black hen hackle tie them on top same length and just tie the everything up I mean, this is quite a kind of rough fly, you don't need to be super fussy uh, with the underbody or whatever. Just a wee bit short that hackle. So uh, I'm going to start now with the body which is just these two coloured hackles wound forward. Obviously this is um, quite similar to like, a Loch Ordy style of dressing. These are quite popular up in the north. Uh, north of Scotland. I want the Shetland, that kind of up in the islands. I'm just winding this hackle, which is using all of the good fibres up. And then when I've come to the end of it, I'll just tie it off and snip it away or break it away. And now I'm going to take an orange hackle. You don't need to worry too much if your hackles are slightly different sizes. So, um, they can get longer, especially as you come towards the front. Uh, but you're just building up this body of soft hackle fibre, really. Um, so tie this hot orange in by the tip, fill away the rubbish. I mean, it's just the same again, just tie it in. You've got a couple of wraps, two or three wraps. Catch it off. Then another black one. Again, in with the tip. Come away the waist. And then, same again, just wind it as you go. This hackle is a wee bit longer, I might get an extra turn at it. But it doesn't matter, just use them up at this stage. The first four, anyway, um, you'll be able to just put the whole hackle on, really. Away your waist, you can see it's starting to build up now. Uh, orange, again, 
Again, I'm always tying these in by the tip. And taking away the rubbishy fibres. And then just winding forward. Just double it as I go. And if you prefer to fold it first, by all means do. I just do it on my way down. Right. Snap away the waist. Yeah. Boy, see if I can get a slightly bigger black hackle this time. Broken. But not too big. Try this. Tighten bit up. Now this black hackle I I always seem to need six on a size ten. And I'm using hen saddle. Um now I want to finish with an orange hackle so I'm not going to necessarily use all of this black. Right, I might only use like two or three turns just to. I'm just checking how much space I have as I go. It's about three. Ah, I'm doing no bad. Four. Just need to judge it. It depends how big your previous hackles were. Sometimes they're a bit longer or whatever in the stem and you get more turns out of them but I've we'll stopped there I'm not going to use all of this tie it in, fold everything back and snip away the tip and I've still, that's left me a nice amount of room just want to see the length of them, too short again I'm, I'm just trying to pick a nice length in the fibre I, I like my head hackle to be longer than all the others although you don't need to do that, you can have it just about the same length if you wish same as always, just tie it in by the tip Not build this hot orange collar or head hackle, I suppose. Um, as always, just fold it as you wind. That's a bit messy. I'm going to go back. And it'll sit better this time. I'm going to just come right up to the front. When I reach the eye, I'll cross the thread. Fold the hackle so I don't trap too many fibres. And you can even strip these away so when you fold back the stem it's nice and neat. And then just snap that away and that lets you build up a nice wee head. And then you've got this bushy black and orange bob fly obviously it's not very imitative um, but it definitely does work uh, especially when there's a big wave you can pull fish up to your team with something like this 
as I say, obviously inspired by the lock all day. But worth tying, worth having. So, hope that was useful. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. Tight lines, guys. Bye.